Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And may the Holy Spirit enlighten your understanding so that you may know His will for your life. One of the things that we almost don't talk about is concerning what happens after death, what happens when a person dies. We almost don't speak about this because we, when, when we know that the person is righteous and they are taken, sometimes even prematurely, we get some comfort. We have words to comfort people who are part of the family of the person who died. Because the Bible teaches that. The Bible mentions that, or rather, God himself speaks about what happens when the righteous dies. It's very glorious. The Bible says, you, you see that it's very nice because in the whole Bible, God doesn't comfort those who are mourning. Not all those who mourn are comforted. He only comforts, His word is only to comfort those who are righteous those who live a life of integrity, of righteousness here, in, here on earth. So these, when they die in the Lord, in other words, nobody dies in the Lord, actually. Everyone dies, but those who die in the Lord, and they die inverted coma, they, in reality, they don't die. They just passed from death, from this world, to eternal life. Jesus said that whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Shall never die. They don't die. Whoever lives and believes in Jesus doesn't die. But those who don't live in him, those who do not believe in the Lord Jesus, there is no word to comfort them in the Bible or for their family members as well. There is no word for them. What are you going to do for them? Pray for them? It's pointless because pray for the dead doesn't resolve anything. Nothing at all. Oh, I'm going to pray for the soul of so-and-so. You're going to waste your time. I'm going to light up a candle here for someone's soul. You're wasting your time. Why? Because the Bible, the God Himself, teaches that only the righteous to comfort the family members of the righteous. He says like this, the righteous perishes, the righteous perishes, and no man takes it to heart. When the righteous dies, Usually, no one considers. Only when the unrighteous dies. When the unrighteous, the wicked, dies. Oh, especially those who have money, right? Those who are famous, that were very famous out there. They made a name here on earth. So when they die, then there are those who say, Oh, poor him. Oh, he was such a nice person. So charitable, so good. But those who are poor, there is no one for them. So God speaks about this. The righteous perishes and no man takes it to heart. No one considers them in a righteous way. Because the person died, went, died, inverted comma, they went to the eternal kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, the kingdom of heaven, and so glory to God is a promotion for that person. And then he says, Merciful men are taken away. They are taken away. Or they are promoted, in other words. While no one considers, while no one considers that the righteous is taken away from evil. So that's the point that I want to make clear here. 
Pay close attention. Merciful men are taken away while no one considers that the righteous is taken away from evil. So we lose people, pastors, we lose many people inside of the church, members, pastors who are young, young pastors. And sometimes the person doesn't understand why. Why did God take their life? That young man was so dedicated to the work, that young lady was so dedicated, but in reality, the soul of that person is so precious, but so precious to God, that he knowing beforehand that the person will get lost as they grow old, then he takes them, he takes their soul, which was chosen and, and elected by him, so he takes them before they lose themselves, before that person loses their salvation. You see how important the salvation of one soul is. It's more important than the whole world. Jesus said it's pointless for you to gain the whole world and lose your own soul. There is nothing that can compare, nothing in this world that can compare to the worth of a soul. Any soul, anyone's soul, a soul is a soul. It has no color, it has no gender, it has no age. Soul is soul. A soul is a soul. When the person goes to eternity, if their soul was righteous before God, which means what makes us righteous before God is our faith. Our faith. A faith in the Lord Jesus, of course. That's why Jesus said that whoever believes, whoever lives and believes in me, whoever lives and believes in me, meaning the belief, the faith in the Lord Jesus, means that the person is righteous, justified. Jesus justifies that person. And that's why we tell people, look, you surrender your life to Jesus, accept Jesus as your Lord, submit yourself to Him, live your life based upon His Word. You then will inherit eternal life. But most people, the vast majority, don't care at all because people want to see in order to believe. And faith is not like that. It's first to believe and then you see. So this is the faith that we have proclaimed all over the world. A person becomes righteous before God when they believe in the Lord Jesus, when they live and believe in the Lord Jesus. It's not just to believe there and then. No, no, of course. When the person is dying in the last minutes, in the last seconds here on earth, and in that moment they give their life to Jesus, if they have time to say, I accept Jesus as my Savior, then they are saved in that moment. They die and they go to heaven. However, sometimes the person doesn't have time to say, oh my God, there is no time to cry out for help. There is no time to manifest their faith. And they die recklessly. As many people who die in earthquakes, they were there sleeping and all of a sudden the earthquake comes and they die. There was no time to say, oh my Lord, have mercy on me. I give you my soul, I give you my life. Only when this happens, meaning when there is an expression of faith, even if it's in the last second, as it was the case with the thief on the cross. The thief on the cross, in, at first glance, both of them were, were blasphemy against Jesus. But one of them saw, recognized that Jesus was not like them. They were thieves, criminals, but Jesus was not a criminal. One of them repaired his mistake, considered that, and asked for mercy in his last moment. 
And Jesus said, Today still you will be with me in paradise. So that man wasn't baptized in water, he wasn't baptized in the Holy Spirit, he lived his entire life in sin. But in the last moment of his life, he cried out to Jesus, he cried out to the name of Jesus, and Jesus promised that he would enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, my friend, I will leave this word here with you for you to consider, you who lost a family member, you who are bereaved, you shouldn't be bereaved. You have to look after yourself because whoever is righteous and dies, dies in the faith in the Lord Jesus, with that faith in the Lord Jesus, this one will go straight to the kingdom of heaven. I believe that the kingdom of God is here on earth, but when we die, we go straight to the kingdom of heaven. So this is what is written here. The righteous perishes, and no man takes it to heart. Merciful men, merciful men are taken away while no one considers that the righteous is taken away from evil. All right? May God bless you all, and the word will be left here, recorded here, to comfort you, to strengthen you who are righteous before God, or the family members of those who are righteous and died prematurely, for example. All right? May God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to be with you at 7 a.m. here in the Temple of Solomon and at 6 p.m. as well. You are my guest. May God bless you and until then.